So in this video, we are going to learn on how to find derivative of a function including sine to the power of n, u, cos to the power of n, u, and tangent to the power of n, u. So u is equals to fx. Then we have a few formulas here, which you can see. So the first formula is when we differentiate sine to the power of n u, so we are going to bring n as the coefficient here, and then we subtract the power by 1, and then we have to differentiate our sine u. So we are actually using power rule. For example, which you had learned earlier, when we have function y equals to 2x plus 1 square so our dy dx will be equals to 2 2x plus 1 to the power of 1 and then we have to differentiate inside the bracket so we have 2 here so the answer will be 4 times 2x plus 1 so similarly if we have sine square x so this one can be rewritten as sine x square so this is our function y so to find dy dx we are going to use power rule which we bring 2 as the coefficient and then we just copy back sine x and we subtract the power by 1 and then we have to differentiate inside the bracket. So we have cos x. So the same principle applied here. When we differentiate cos to the power of n u, it is equal to n cos to the power of n minus 1 u. And then we have to differentiate cos u. And when we differentiate tangent to the power of n u, so it is equal to n tangent to the power of n minus 1 u. And we have to differentiate tangent u. So now let's look at a few examples. So let's start with this example. Differentiate with respect to x. We have two questions here. So we are going to start with question A. So for question A, the function is cos to the power of 4 to x. So this one I can rewrite as differentiating cos to x to the power of 4 so it means the same thing if we put power 4 either in the middle or at the end of cos 2x so to differentiate this we can bring 4 as the coefficient so we have 4 and then we just copy back cos 2x and then we subtract the power by 1 so we have to the power of 3 and then we have to differentiate inside the bracket here so differentiating cos 2x we are going to get negative 2 sine 2x differentiate cos 2x the answer is negative sine 2x so we have another 2 there 2 here means when we differentiate our 2x so we have 2 there so that is the answer for question A. But we can simplify this. So we have negative 8 cos 2x to the power of 3. You can write as cos to the power of 3 to x. And we have sine 2x. So that is our answer for question A. Now let's try question B. So before we differentiate, we can rewrite this function to become sine. Of course, we have the differentiate symbol in front. So we have d per dx. And then we have sine 2x plus 1 to the power of half to the power of 3 so we can bring 3 at the end of 
the expression. So now to differentiate this function, we are going to use power rule, where 3 will become the coefficient. And then now we have sine 2x plus 1 to the power of half now raised to the power of 2 because we have to subtract the power by 1 and then don't forget we have to differentiate inside the bracket so we have to differentiate sine 2x plus 1 to the power of half so this one will be equals to 3 sine 2x plus 1 to the power of half and to the power of 2. So differentiate this expression. What we are going to get is we are going to get cos 2x plus 1 to the power of half. But don't forget to differentiate the angle which is this. So differentiating the angle, we are going to get half times 2x plus 1 to the power of negative half and then multiply with 2. So we can cancel 2 and 2 here. And then we can rearrange the whole expression. So now we have equals to 3. I'm going to bring this be, uh, beside 3. So we have 3 multiply with 2x plus 1 to the power of negative half. And then we have sine 2x plus 1 to the power of half. Okay, and the power square here, I'm going to bring it to the middle here. Okay, and then multiply with cos 2x plus 1 to the power of half. So this is the final answer. Thank you. And now, please try to differentiate the following function and submit to your lecturer as a proof that you watch this video. Thank you.